So continuing with the Vesica Pisces and touching back on an earlier episode, uh, earlier topic. Um, usually I do a vertical, sorry, horizontal construction line, but I'll begin with a vertical line. Okay, so the Vesica begins with the circle. Is the second circle. You create the three points of an equilateral triangle. Now, horizontal construction line for the vesica. Without changing the compass, one more circle to do a double vesica Pisces. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six points, creating a perfect hexagon. Also makes a um, nothing of a good way to do a cube. And if you do that same construction vertically. Six points on the hexagon, but we also have the Star of David. Six-pointed star, or a six-sided polygon, and now to do a twelve. The same, and now I'm going to draw this larger. Now we don't need these parts of the circle. We're just the so that it's going off the edge of a page, no matter. Again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to A, B, C, D, E, and F. So uh, from A to C. C to E, P to A we've created an equilateral triangle and it's one half of uh, the star of David interlocking but because it's this one is um, vertical this will be horizontal once we complete it but what we're looking for are the construction lines that will turn the six point Star into the 12 pointed star from which we get the star of a Maltese cross as seen in um, the country of Malta but uh, Knights of Malta as well. So now we have a six pointed star. I want to now we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these points. We can use those to 
bisect the others. to complete the dis um, con uh, complete the construction and create a, a 12 pointed star that's what I like so begin with 12 and then count over four and then another four to eight and we join those together we'll have a, another equilateral triangle and so we're, we're beginning to create another star of David but just slanted. And the same with begin with two, add four, we get six, add four, we get ten. So two, six, ten. Start a full construction. Uh, now, um, we, so we have the peak. Now we have eight, these troughs. So just a highlight. Now with each of those, so for instance, I'm going to begin at twelve and a half. And then we're going to cross through the middle to. Six and a half. Okay, so what we've, did, we've bisected this, and so if we were to carry this all the way around, we would create twenty-four points on the comp, uh, on the circle. Find the trough, put the straight edge along the centre, and it should line up with the opposite, for instance, three and a half, ten and a half. Oops, that was a mistake, sorry. Three and a half through the centre to nine and a half. center to ten and a half. Five and a half up through the center to eleven and a half. So between twelve and between one we've divided the full circle around and then we've created a
a four point wheel. Now the same rule um, to create the star of David and the 12 pointed star, we need to create a series of equilateral triangle so 12 and a half to four and a half to eight and a half Six and a half, ten and a half, two and a half. Seven and a half. That's our full 24 point construction. Yeah. I have a 12 pointed star here, and to highlight the difference between what's called the um, Maltese and Templar cross, but we'll create the Maltese cross. from the 12 pointed star. Move the center. If this was a clock, this would be 12, 1, 11, 5, and 7. So we've drawn a line from 11 to 5 and a line from 1 to 7. So 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Okay, next one we're going to go from 2 to 8. Here we have a 24 pointed star, and from, this is where we get the Templar cross. Uh, we would have 24, 1, and 23. So 
from 23 through the center, from one through the center, then on the horiz horizontal you would have um, 6 and so 5 and 7, so 5 through and 7 through the center. Now we can finish it off. Now we have our 24 pointed star. And the Empire Cross. As opposed to the 12 pointed star and the Knights of Malta Cross here. Back to the 12 pointed star. Um, you could also use it as a, a, as a zodiac, but um, like, uh, for instance, you can use it as a template as a hexagon, but also has the cube, which I mentioned earlier. Also, the, the 12 pointed star also creates a perfect square. So you have the two dimensional square and the three dimensional cube through um, a, a 2D rep represent representation, of course. And just to finish off the uh, Maltese cross, Templar cross, 12 pointed and 24 point. Maltese cross, begin with a three-sided triangle, a six-sided hexagon or a six-sided star, to a 12-pointed star, to a 24-pointed star. And that's a connection over to um, harmonics, so for instance, 3, 6, 12, 24, and the next would be 48, 96, etc. Um, which is uh, on the Pythagorean uh, number scale and um, also the basis for a whole lot of other things but anyway so this is a, a, a not just a design template but uh, encodes much more info which I'll get into later as we move from how weights and measures combine into and unify uh, around this geometry and around the numbers and proportions <laughs> Shakti Shiva Shankar Ki Jai Jai, Kaila Shakti Shiva.